Okay, so it's about uh, half past four in the afternoon and uh, we're coming down one of the main roads in uh, Champasar. I just uh, thought I'd give you an idea of what it's like to uh, ride a bike in, uh, in these conditions. Everybody uh, who comes to Bali seems to think they can ride a bike and uh, uh, there's no drama. Well, when I first got here, there, uh, I was pretty apprehensive about it and uh, after a, probably about a week, I uh, sort of understood the, uh, the rules of uh, riding a bike in Bali. And, uh, The main thing is to keep your wits about you. No speeding. And, uh, try and anticipate what the bloke in front of you, or the person in front of you can do. It is uh, rather horrific at times. The present moment, it's not too bad. Um, this area here is not too bad. As we get up here a little bit further, it may become a bit chaotic. This is not a driving lesson by any means. All you've got to do is uh, drive to the conditions. You've got to keep your eye on everybody around you. Keep your eye on the on the road. As there's uh, some potholes here that if you drop into them, you're probably in the next postcode. So. Uh, now we come to a bit of a traffic jam here. It doesn't last long. I mean, the average speed around town at this time of the day is uh, probably about 15 to 20 k's an hour. As you can see, the uh, side of the road is uh, pretty horrific. There's a hole up here that's about six inches deep. And you'd hate to hit that at any type of speed. Or hit it at all, to be honest with you. Um, but motorbikes are not the steadiest thing on their feet and uh, you just got to keep your eyes filled for anything that's going to happen a lot of a lot of instances are these people passing on the, on the inside of you now you can keep a distance of about three foot and uh, the next thing you know somebody's trying to pass you on the inside they go. Scares the hell out of you. The other thing is that people coming out from the left hand side, there's none of this give way to the right, they just come straight out and uh, turn left and away they go. So uh, it's another thing you've got to keep your wits about you. This section here is usually pretty dramatic. As you can see, there's a fair amount of traffic on the road. And, uh, well, I don't know. As you can see, people just slip up on the inside. They have no fear. No fear or no brain in front of the truth. And these people here, they just push out. You can see them pushing out now. And uh, that's, a, that's an instance where they just force their right away. And uh, most of the time, you know, it's, it's not too bad. They'll, they'll slow, people will slow down a bit later to um, let you get through. Just got to wave your arms around a bit and they seem to do the right thing. One of the worst things is on the streets a little bit narrower than this. Um, you have these uh, food carts and they just seem to pull up alongside the food cart and order their tucker and away they go you know, don't worry about the traffic behind you or having to swerve around you and, um, cars will double park there's no uh, there's no real rules I suppose there are rules but nobody uh, Nobody likes to take advantage of them. 
up here I'll go down another another main street just to give you another idea of what it's like. Most of the people coming towards me are coming from work in Denver Star. But you know, this traffic is consistent all through the day, you know, and I, I just can't understand how uh, or where they're all going. There, uh, you know, obviously some are doing some work and zapping in and out here and there. But uh, there's a ton of people driving around that uh, don't look like they're working. As you can see the tra traffic coming towards me here is pretty horrific. Well, not horrific. It's quite quite peaceful actually when you think about it. Uh, probably another half an hour to three quarters of an hour then everybody on their way home is stopping at food courts. See the hand signal there? That's the let me slow down. Yeah they'll stop at the little food carts and uh, little warrens and stuff like that to buy their, their evening meal. A lot of people don't uh, cook at home. Not worth lighting a gas fire. Most bills, if you get in those places, are probably around a dollar Australian, maybe a dollar ten. So it's uh, not breaking the bank. They're pretty ordinary bills. I mean, some, some restaurants, you don't get too many restaurants for this season. Some uh, some areas that you get nice restaurants and probably cost you four or five dollars a meal, which is pretty good actually. Now look at what have we got here? Peter Celery, he just pushes his way in. I'm not going to go and try and find people doing the wrong thing. There's another one straight up on the inside. Now I'm probably four feet away from the gutter. I don't One thing that they haven't got squared away is that when they do a repair to the road, they either leave a dent in the road that's about three or four inches deep, or it's three or four inches high. There's one up on this next corner here, you, you won't see it. I might show you on the way back. But, um, that's been repaired about six times. When it was repaired, it was about probably about four inches above the surface level, and now it's about four inches below, and probably more. So I'll shoot up here, and uh, well, I'll go up there first, and I'll come back the other way. I think it's there. Yeah, that's the corner there. As you can see ahead here, there's night markets here. Um, so a lot of trucks and stuff like that, little pickups. They all uh, see everybody here, they've come through the red light. It's on the right there. It doesn't matter, this fella over here is pushing his way through. To see how people just give way, there's no real drama. Try that in Australia. World War Three. There's a car park halfway out or three quarters away out of the main street. One of the beauties of the motorbike is that you can zap up the inside or the outside of, of motor cars when there's a bit of a jam. Now this fella doesn't know where he's going. Not going to leave me enough room to get through here. I don't think. Right here. We'll sneak up through here. I might do a right hand turn here instead of going all the way up to the main road here. We've got the indicator on. Yeah, yeah I'll go this way. Yeah, we can run over there. This is a one way street. I'm not sure which way. And you see the road here, it's been repaired a few times. I think, I think I'm going the wrong way, I'm not sure. 
draw these judges. Not a big indication of the wrong way when these cars are parked here because they park on wherever they feel like it. A lot of cars just park on the opposite side of the road. Here's one of those food carts. Another couple there. So we'll head up this way and go back around. I'll show you that big hole in the ground. Another food cart here. These things go all through the night. No lights on them or anything like that. They just bash on their uh, on an empty plate to make the sound. And here's the bunch of have got something stopped here. There's something going on there. So I'll head back around now. And there's another main road up here. That's the one with that big, big bump is. I hope you'll be able to see it. And here's a, here's an advantage of the motorbike. You just got to watch anybody coming from uh, in between these uh, cars. Now we've got a free for all here. All right, we've got to watch the people on the right hand side there when the crossing goes on the left. They'll come straight across in front of you. Now this road here comes from Denver Sun. About a year ago it was resurfaced, so we didn't do a bad job of it. It was pretty horrific before. You notice there's plenty of parking here on the left. Lots of people just set up little sites on the side of the road selling a few things here and there. Now yeah, here we go, this is this pump up here. As I said before, this was about four to five inches above above ground. And see, I just let this fellow out. He wants to go right across. Do you see this? Now it's about six. In, I say six inches below the surface. So you don't want to hit that at night. Doing speed. Now we're coming down the, one of the main streets again. Yeah, 
don't know whether you notice, but people coming out on the road just don't look to what's coming towards them. Yes, they get a lot of accidents. You all stop and go when you're in traffic like this. It's, uh, as I said, you've got to be aware of, of what people are going to do in front of you. A lot of them uh, forget to turn their indicators off. So I'm guilty of doing that too. In Vietnam, the motorbikes have got beepers on them, so they. Uh, I let you know that your indicators are not over here. I think they were toying with the idea of it on a bureaucracy fits its foot in the door at the end of it. And this is on the way home to my place. Just up here, it turns into a one-way street for a little bit. But at these lights up here, I'll uh, see this. Well, it just comes down, this bloke just comes straight around. I don't worry about looking. At these lights here, I'll turn right and then I'll Up further near my place, um, you'll get a traffic jam. You've got a, one of those, I don't know, a temple or something that's sitting in the middle of the road, so it's a four way intersection. People get a bit confused as to what to do here. Everybody forces their way through. But I mean, you only get held up for a, you know, probably a maximum of 10 or 2 minutes. She was going to cut in front of me then. See this fella just stopped and sell a tucker on the side of the road. Still a lot of people not wearing helmets. But you don't see coppers on the road, you know, they all sit in their little pillboxes and do their private thing. I'll find a spot to pull over here. Something uh, up is. Another fella just pulled on the side of the road. Pull the traffic here. You can see he's about half a car out from the rest of it. Doesn't matter. They just park anywhere they want it. As I said, you've got to keep your wits about you. See these girls just parked in the middle of the road. GPS. There's a spot here, I should pull up here. It's a used car box, and I'll pull in here and take these cameras off. So there you are, there you have it. That's, um, that's Denpasar, the part of Denpasar in uh, So until next time, we'll catch you all later. Gotta get home.